Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop. Now I've been getting a lot of emails about removing the drive disk. And as I get them, I send the information to them and I've been getting so many, I figured I might as well just do a video and tell everybody at once. <clears throat> it's not as much, let me move you, as trying to get it to slide off the bottom of the engine it's trying to break loose the set screws now there's two major drive discs on these machines and I don't have any I get parts that are in good shape and they're usable I sell them and right now I'm out of drive discs um, <clears throat> I've got one on my model but the issue is trying to break loose the set screws. The other style doesn't have set screws. So if you go to remove yours or work on it and you can't find the set screws, that means you have the newer style that has a bolt that goes up through the bottom of the disc into the end of the crankshaft. Now to adjust that style, it's a lot more difficult. You have to shift the machine in fifth gear and remove the clutch disc and the clutch disc assembly off of the chain case. And if you're lucky, you'll be able to pull it off and it'll come off and miss everything. <clears throat> the way you adjust that style <coughs> is when you take it off there'll be a washer inside of it where it slides onto the crank. If the disc is down too low, maybe a previous owner tried to adjust it, he added washers inside of the drive disc. If you want to move it up, you take the washers out. <clears throat> it's a guessing game and they're a pain in the butt to adjust. The other ones with the set screws are hard to get the set screws broke loose. A long armed Allen wrench doesn't really help. A short arm doesn't have enough leverage to put this end into the set screw. A long arm will hit everything and you can't break it loose either. I've had a couple guys say, oh, I tried, I got a 12 inch T handle they're worthless. What's going to happen is that shaft is so long when you're twisting on that T-handle all you're doing is twisting the shaft. You're not getting any pressure or torque into the set screw to break it loose. What you want to use if you have a set of these, these are perfect. This is what you want. These happen to be metric. I don't have a standard set of these because I have these things. Let me tip you down here a little. These I've had for probably 45 years or better. They handed them out when we worked at dressers and we used them on everything. This one you can see has been cut down a couple times because the end got so rounded off. This one is the 3 16 And you put that in a standard socket and you get yourself an extension and this will not flex. And you can break them loose much easier than you'll ever do with an Allen wrench. Now if you don't have a set of these, and you don't really want to buy a set of these to do the job. You don't have to. There's a much cheaper way to do it. You get yourself your 3 16 Allen wrench and you cut off about 5 eighths of an inch of it. Then you take that little piece and you stick it into a 3 eighths inch socket. 3 16 socket. <laughs> this happens to be a quarter inch drive. You can get a 
whatever drive you want, whatever socket you have. And you can get an adapter and put that in the small socket and then put your larger extension in it. But this is what you want to use to break them loose. An Allen wrench is not going to do it. <clears throat> I've tried a few times getting an Allen wrench in there and a pair of pliers on the top and twisting it. And I have broke them loose, but it's a lot of monkeying around. It's a lot easier and a lot less work to just cut that Allen wrench off and stick it in your socket and break them things loose. Much easier. And that's it. It was a quick tip to help out a few guys. And I've got a few girls out there that are rebuilding these snappers. Some of them are going to show us up. And uh, that's it. Short and hopefully informative. Until next time, work safe, have fun. Please subscribe. I need subscribers. And uh, eventually it will help keep this on YouTube and help me hopefully maybe someday get a better camera. <coughs> right now I'm using an iPad, which seems to be working pretty good. So, like I said, please subscribe. And until next time, keep on snapping. We'll talk to you soon. So long.